Okay, the purpose of this demonstration today is we're going to show you, we developed this clay here. It's a clay we developed just for our taxidermy shop and using our taxidermy shop. We're now going to take it to the public and sell it. We've been using it for probably 10 years. But we're going to compare this clay that we developed, which we feel is a far superior clay to the clay in this bag, which would be a normal potter's clay that the tax supply houses sell and they claim is as good. We think this demonstration that we're gonna to show today is gonna to show that this is gonna have between a nine and 11% shrinkage, all depends on the mix, you know, it's different from time to time. This clay here will have a zero two percent shrinkage. It's gonna be a lot stickier clay to work with. It's gonna harden we, we feel two to three times harder than this clay, which will make your earbuds stay in place better. It's just, we just feel it's an all around better clay. And, but to start out, we're just gonna pack, we've created a couple pieces, the exact same size of PVC pipe, tape them back together. We actually cut them so that we can get this clay out when it comes time, so we can do our measurements and our tests. But we're gonna pack this clay in there, making sure we don't leave any. Any voids in there, we don't want any voids in the clay to, you know, we're, we're just gonna do the best we can. I mean, it's not gonna be a perfection, high test quality, but, we're going to actually put this clay on the market, this clay that we developed on the market for probably cheaper than what the supply houses are selling, what we feel is a inferior clay to what we've developed. We had a, we had a company, I can't tell you which company it was, but we had a pretty reputable company help us develop this clay. We actually hunted with the vice president of this company a few times out here in South Dakota so he did some tests behind the scenes for us we can't as I said we can't divulge their company's name because they don't want no liability there we've got that one packed full of the what the tax service supply houses call their potters clay I think you, you'd have seen it was a lot smoother clay it's as I said, we're gonna we're gonna sell this clay for the same price or cheaper than this clay here starting out. And and we should stay very competitive at all times. Because it's not that much more expensive to produce than this clay. But we feel if you if you watch this demonstration and then just try this clay one time, is all we ask. I think we think you will be happy with it you'll see that it's a lot stickier it will help hold your eyes in place better it'll help hold your earbuds it'll make them stronger so they don't loosen up on you the hide won't pull away near as fast it's just we've been as i said we've been using this for probably 15 years now in our shop and it's a and, and selling it to some of the local taxidermists in the area but now we're ready to take it a little more nationally and sell it we've tried to figure out how we can ship it cheap but you know shipping shipping is an expensive part of clay but as i said the Supply company sell this potter's clay from between what we can see 33 to $36 for 50 pounds. We figure this product here we have right here, I believe we're gonna sell for, I wanna say 32.55 for 50 pounds plus shipping. But anyway, I think we got both, both pieces full. We're gonna let that dry for, oh, probably, I'd say the better part of two weeks in order, since it's sitting inside that plastic, it's gonna take that much time to dry out and completely dry. 
we'll keep we'll keep an eye on it and see when we believe it's dry we'll finish this demonstration but at this point we're just going to set it aside to dry okay this is part of the demonstration we've just packed these these are fresh packed we're going to weigh both of these on a kitchen scale and mark down our weights and then when they're dry we're going to re-weigh them and see what they what they weigh and how much they moisture's dissipated out of them this one right here happens to weigh four and five eight or two pounds four and five eighths ounces so we're going to write that down two pounds four eighths ounce this one here weighs two pounds six ounces two pounds six ounces we're just going to mark that right on the thing after they're dry for like i said we're probably going to leave that two weeks we'll keep a check on it it might take a week might take three but we want to make sure they're good and dry to do this demonstration because the, when you put them on this is pretty thick when you put them on thin on your head mounts and that it ain't it isn't going to take as long to dry so we're just we're going to monitor this try to do as fair a test as we can but we're just trying to show you there's a reason to try this new quality clay that we've developed okay at this point we're 72 hours into this experiment i walked into the shop today looked at these two pieces two things of clay exact same size we weighed them before we started if you look really close this here is the regular potter's clay that you're going to buy from most supply houses that they claim is good enough for ear butts, set and eyes. You know, if you're a discerning taxidermist, you can already see after 72 hours that I could almost stick a cereal box, piece of cereal box down in there. It, we've got that much shrinkage along the edge of that. You can see no, very little pull away on this animal clay one, the one that we developed that we're going to sell. But we're only 72 hours in. I mean, we ain't even started to really dry yet, and we've got that much shrinkage difference. I'm really curious to see over the next week and a half, maybe two weeks yet, till they're completely dry. I'm not going to pull them apart till I know they're dry because your mount's going to air dry. They're never going to be this thick. But I'm really amazed at the amount of shrinkage I have already in these. And, as I said, they've been sitting side by side. So if you're a discerning taxidermist, I know you're going to want to try this product that we've got on sale. Okay, today's the seventh day of our little experiment. You can start to see this will be the animal clay, the one we developed that we're going to be selling. You can start to see there's a little, little bit of shrinkage on the one side of this, this cup of clay starting to pull away a little bit you get a little bit of a dip on the top here so this one's starting to shrink just a little it's getting dry we're going to give this about three more days and then we're going to pull this plastic off so that it can dry faster this is the potter's clay the one that most tax taxidermy supply houses sell the most of and claim it's good if you pay attention to this one you can see the shrinkage you can actually see all the way through that cup and see the plastic blow up but i mean this is this is let loose all the way around if i handle this one wrong I, i'm afraid this clay is going to fall right out of here you got a lot of dip to the top it's probably down an eighth of an inch on top and the bottom already but you can see the amount of shrinkage on this one i'm afraid if i'm uncareful with that one that's just going to fall out at this point this one i know ain't going to fall out so as I said, we're going to give this three more days now, then we're going to remove our plastic pieces of pipe so that the clay can dry longer. I can tell it's going to be probably a three-week process to get through this complete thing because at the end we're going to do a um, weight test on these and see how much weight they'll hold before they crush and to show you the strength difference between this one and this potter's clay. But... I think it's getting at the point now you can already see how much shrinkage you're getting around your eyes and in your ear butts that this this is by far a superior clay you know it, there's no clay that's not going to shrink a little bit you're like, like i said you're getting a little shrinkage but nothing compared to this one i bet 
this one's got 10 times the shrinkage this one has right now so but we're going to do all the measurements at the end of the the end of this little video okay today's day 10 of this little experiment we're going to remove these clay from the plastic pvc pipe that they're in as you can see this potter's clay one the one that's getting the most shrinkage the one that the supply company sell for the cheapest price and tell you it's a good clay it actually even let loose in the thing completely there's no there was no adhesion no nothing you can see it actually shrank about a quarter of an inch down on a three inch tube or a uh, four inch i believe these are four inch i cut but it's a quarter inch down and it's not even near dry yet we've still got a couple weeks of drying on this this one I don't know if I'm going to be able to break now. I'm going to have to cut this out. I don't want to break it while I'm doing this. So I'm going to find my seam. I know this clay's got a lot more adhesion abilities than the regular potter's clay it's a lot stickier clay that's why i like it so well if you set your horn burrs in it they're not going to move your eyes aren't going to move i don't want to wreck this i want to keep my weights that i had because that one was two pounds four ounces when we started so i'm hoping i can get this off without breaking this clay so we can finish this little experiment yeah that's adhered pretty tight I might have to let that dry a little longer just to break that loose because that's that's holding really tight I'm gonna let that dry longer I'm gonna break the crack the clay but at least this will get us we're opened up to the air a little more so this will help it dry out faster but I can tell with this size chunk of clay we're gonna have at least three total weeks in this little experiment before we can take our measurements and do our test but we're just going to set this aside now for the next three weeks two three weeks i'll keep testing it see when i think it's dry i'll probably drill into it a little drill to see that it's tight but as you can see already the difference in the shrinkage difference in the texture this one adhered tight enough i can't get it off today this one fell out on its own um i don't think you're we're going to charge you the same price for the clays you deserve your all your customers and yourself at least one chance to try it okay this clay is at all the time it's needed to dry at this time we're going to reweigh it this is the animal clay as we call it when we started this deal this was two pounds four and five eighths ounces right now it measures one pound 11 ounces so that means we lost 9.5 ounces on the taxidermy clay on the potter's clay started out at two pounds six ounces this also weighs one pound 11 ounces so we lost 11 ounces on that one in our test so we lost an ounce and a half more on the potter's clay than we did the taxidermy clay and that's due to the water the extra water that's in it you know that, that was all water weight that dried out can't say it was any of the actual weights that's actually fairly comparable our next little demonstration we're going to try to show you the qualities of the clay because we put we've added um adhesives and other chemicals to the taxidermy clay to make it a lot stronger and so your mounts will hold together better if they do get hit i've i know and i've had mounts come in where it's had potter's clay in the ear butts the ear got hit and it just crumbled that potter's clay where i think in this test you'll see 
this taxidermy clay, this animal clay that we have, that we developed, that we're selling, is way stronger and will hold up way better. But right now we're just going to use a hammer. We're going to break these two pieces and let you be a judge of it. You see how easy that one just crumbled up? Just broke into pieces. A couple little hits. This one should be stronger. See how it, it did break when I hit it, but it didn't crumble. I mean, there's a lot of difference in that breakage there. You know, it's, it's breaking apart when you hit it good, but it's not not crumbling near as fast as the pot clay. That just crumbles all over the place. These, these are just tests. I think you should run on your own. You should, I mean, it's we're selling this for the same price, so it's, it's worth trying and run these tests on your own if you don't believe what you're seeing. I mean, I know how videos work, and I know, I know I could cheat this video. I don't believe I have to, but here's another one. This is the animal clay. This is the potter's clay. We just rolled balls up about the same size just to show you again how that one just disintegrates. That one, you know, I'm hitting these pretty hard, but that one just really disintegrated. This one at least held together somewhat. You know, these pieces are... hit it it breaks so I mean I, I think this video speaks for itself on the quality of this clay and the chemicals we've added to this the glues and the adhesives it's increased our production on this clay by about 30 percent for the animal clay over the potter's clay but as, as you I think if you research it you're gonna see we're selling it for real close to the same price because it's, we developed it we make it, it goes directly from us to you so we can save you money um, please use it and leave some positive reviews if you do. We'd appreciate it. Thank you.